Hey everyone, welcome back. Guys, in this video, you will learn how you can connect your Twilio account with your WordPress website. Guys, Twilio is a SMS sending application. And if you want to uh, create a post in WordPress just by receiving the content of the post on a SMS via Twilio application, this automation video is for you. And guys, if you have a team working for you, and you want an easy access for your team to your WordPress website, this automation can be used here. You just have to share your Twilio's account number with your team and they can send the content of the post on a SMS. And as you are going to receive the SMS, the post will be shared on your WordPress automatically. And we can set up this automation super simply without any coding. So let me show you how. To set up this automation guys, we are using Pavli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And this is the landing page of Pavli. From here, you can sign up for free and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. So guys, I have pasted the same link in the description. So you can sign up right now. After that, you have to sign in and then select Pavli Connect product and you will reach the dashboard of Pavli Connect. So guys, this is the dashboard of Pavli Connect. And from here, you have to click on this create workflow button to set up this automation. Here you can give a suitable name to your workflow as well. So I'm giving the name here as Twilio, Twilio to WordPress. All right, after giving such a name, you can click on create button and you can see your workflow page is here okay and on this page guys you will find these two modules the trigger and the action so with the help of these two things we are going to set up this automation so trigger is that event which starts a workflow and the action is a automated consequence or the response of the trigger so in our use case receiving an sms via twilio will act as a trigger to this workflow and the action would be to uh, send the content of sms as a post in wordpress so here guys in the trigger section, you can search for Twilio application to connect with. Okay. <clears throat> then you have to select the trigger event as new SMS and it will give you this URL. So with the help of this URL and by following these instructions written here, you can connect with Twilio account. And after that, we are going to capture a message uh, received on Twilio's number. So let me show you how you can connect this account. So you need to go to your Twilio's dashboard here. All right, so you can click on console Twilio's console. And guys here on the left hand side panel, you will find this develop option under develop, you will find this phone numbers option here, click on this active numbers. Okay. Under active numbers, you will find an active number given by Twilio on which you can receive the calls, SMS, fax, etc. So you have to click on this number given by Twilio. All right. And on this page, you have to scroll down guys and you will find this voice and fax option. And then you will find this messaging option. Under messaging option guys, you will find this configure with uh, webhooks option. Okay. So you have to select this webhook function studio flow option. Okay. And here uh, under the a message comes in section, you have to select webhook. And here you have to paste the URL that you got from your workflow. So let me just erase this URL. And here we have our workflow copy this webhook URL like this, and paste this URL under the a message comes in section like this. And then you have to click on save button and you will be completed the connection. You can see the number was successfully updated and we have done creating the connection. And here you can see started showing waiting for the web connections response. So as and when uh, you are going to receive a SMS on your Twilio's number, the details of the message will be captured here in this response section. Let me show you how it is going to look like. I have already captured the response in Twilio here in this uh, already created workflow. And that's how the response will look like. You can see here it will show you uh, your number, the SMS status is received. And when you scroll down, you will find 
the body of the message like this here is the body of the message and here uh, one of my team member has sent me this message and this is the content of a blog post so i'm going to use this content to create a post in twilio and here to uh, create a post in twilio you have to connect wordpress here in the action step and before we have connected text formatter as well i'll tell you why we have connected this first of all let me show you how to connect with wordpress so you just have to search for wordpress here in this action step and use the action event now as create a post then click on connect from here select add new connection and here it will ask for the wordpress username or email so you have to enter your username of wordpress then you have to enter your password and here you have to enter the base url so uh, you have to open your wordpress dashboard and here in the top search bar you will find the url so you just have to copy this and paste it here under the base url section and according to the instructions written here you have to remove these extra things so we do not have to include this wp admins uh, these extra things okay right so this is this is my base url you will find yours like this so you have to paste it like uh, this here then click on save and you will be connected with wordpress and after getting connected these fields will open up here you can see it will ask for the post type as post then it will ask for the post title and the post content so guys to create this post title we have used this text formatter here so here you can see in this message we got this full long uh, material or the content so to create a title we have separated this first line of the text to create a title okay so to separate this first line i have used text formatter and to connect text formatter here you just have to let me show you you just have to click here on this plus icon and another action step will open up like this in between here you have to search for text formatter and you'll find it here you can connect it then uh, after getting uh, after selecting the text formatter you have to select the action event as split text split text okay then click on connect and you will be connected and then it is asking which text you want to split so here guys we are going to map let me show you <clears throat> here this field will appear text to split here we are going to map this body uh, field guys like this let me show you. you just have to click here and from this previous step click here and map this body label like this okay then it is asking separator so here you can see i want to separate out this first line only and here is a full stop after this line a period sign so i'm going to put this full stop sign or dot here in the separator and after that it will ask for the segment index or which part of this uh, content you want to separate out the first part that means the part before this full stop mark or the part after this full stop mark so first part is this and the second part is this so i have selected first option and then clicked on save and send test request button and in the result label you will find the first line separated out from the paragraph like this so this will act as a title of a wordpress post so after this here the result label let me show you so that's how the fields will appear so you just have to click here and from the second text formatter step map this result label to create a title for the post content now we can map this whole thing okay the whole body as the content then you can enter a slug or excerpt and you can select the status if you want to create a draft you can create draft or you can create a private post or pending post or future post as you want i am selecting publish directly you can add tags you can have many options here you can use all the options right now uh, i am leaving all these things as it is okay you can use all the options after that you have to click here on save and send test request but and when you click on save and send test request you will find this response and here you will find the link of a newly created uh, post here is the link of the post you can see the post from your wordpress website or you can open this link directly from here also like this and here's how the post is going to appear so 
this is my WordPress website and this is how the uh, post is going to appear. Okay, right. So guys, we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up it only once. After that, you don't have to do anything manually uh, to create a post. After that, whenever you are going to receive a new SMS in which you are going to receive the content of the post, the post will be created automatically in your WordPress account. And guys, you have to set up this automation only once. And you can use this workflow as well as I'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description. You can clone it in your own free Pavli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.